Howdy, YouTubers. How you doing today? Well, it is January 2nd, and these are your daily announcements. We got more snow last night. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we went from having no snow to having all the snow. So we got we got a few inches more. So I think right now we've got probably about six or seven inches on the ground, which is still like way less than we should have at this time of the year. We should have a lot, lot more. But um, I'm glad that we have some. Didn't have a white Christmas, but we did have a white New Year's. So, um, you know, it's good. It's snow is good. It is good for the farmers. It helps to break up the ground so that they have a more successful planting in the spring so it and adds nutrients to the ground it's very important so although we like complain about it quite a bit it's really important so I'm glad it's there and it's just it's a beautiful day even though it's a little cloudy the snow just for me the snow just brightens things up you know it really does the, you know, the light reflects off of it. Everything just seems so much brighter and, and clean. You know, the snow doesn't stay clean for very long, but for the time that it's here, I appreciate it. And I'm on my way into work right now. We don't have anything major going on, just some tours today and the gift shop's open and the coffee shop's open. And I'm grateful that we can at least do that, you know. I am looking forward to 2021. I don't think it's going to be an easy year. But I do think it's going to be a better year. I think we're going to have to exercise quite a bit of patience when it comes to the coronavirus vaccine. Um, I think economically it's going to be a, a tremendous challenge to to get America working again and to, you know, get things back on track. But if we just remain patient and hold the course, I'm sure we'll be okay, you know? We'll do it. You know, I was watching some videos last night. If you guys don't already know this, I am a I am a airplane enthusiast. I love airplanes. I love looking at all the different kinds and trying to memorize all the different kinds and like trying to identify them when they're up in the air, what kind it is. Um, it's my weird little Asperger syndrome focus, you know. Every, everybody who's on the autism spectrum, we all have our things. We all have our things that we like really get interested in and airplanes has been one of mine. For, for years and years and years. I've wanted to build an airplane for years. You don't even know. I, I looked into it so heavily and I just can't afford it. But if I had if I had endless money, that'd be one of the first things that I do is I'd build an airplane. Um, but anyway, uh, I was watching some videos last night about the Lockheed Martin uh, planes and they showed, they showed like the rooms full of engineers and designers and then they showed the, uh, the assembly line with all these people. I mean thousands and thousands and thousands of people working for this company making airplanes and it just, it kind of made me sad, you know. Here, we used to make stuff in America. You know, we used to be the, the country that was making all the things. We need to get back to that. Somehow we need to get back to that, you know? And I think there's a twofold solution to that. One, as a consumer, we need to buy American products and actually seek out American products, you know? Actively seek them out and buy them. And I think that as American workers, we need to make the best possible products. I mean, we need to put pride into the work that we do, and we need to we need to not just do it to do it, you know, so that we can collect our paycheck, but we actually have to put some like some loving pride into the work that we do 
so that the rest of the world wants our products, even if they cost a little bit more. I think we need to do this, you know? So I would really strongly encourage all you young people who are in high school, just going off into college, if you've got some great ideas about things that could be made here, I say go for it and do it, you know? And make Made in America a, a badge of honor again, you know? Don't be lazy. Put all your, your love and effort into the things that you make and the things that you do because you are making a difference. No matter what it is that you're making in this country, if you're in manufacturing, you are making a difference. You are helping not only to support your family or that business that you're working for, but America as a whole because the more successful businesses that we have that are making things and employing people, the better we are in this country and we need to get back to that. We need to get back to that. We need to stop buying cheap Chinese junk and we need to we need to have quality. I mean, I was looking at some radios that were made here in America during the 30s and 40s, and I was just looking at the craftsmanship and the, and I mean, these things are like, man, they're like 90 years old, and they still have a better sound quality than radios that are made today. And they, they're full of like tubes and wires and all kinds of crazy stuff, and they sound so much better. Why can't we make products that are great? I just feel like we need to do that. Anyways, I've talked long enough. All right, you guys have a great day. I love you. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Waves like crazy. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.